Last week around Thursday, I was brought a specimen container with a couple of jellyfish in it. And I was flabbergasted at first because I didn't know there were freshwater jellyfish floating around in the lakes around North Manchester. So I knew when he brought them in, I kind of had to come down and check it out for myself. So at Lucan's Lake, I took a boat out to see if I could uh, find any of them for myself out here. And yeah, there's a nice population of freshwater jellies out here, which that's definitely something I never would have thought I would have just happened to find out here. They aren't native to the area, mostly when you have an invasive species to anywhere. It's, it's not good. You usually want to try to get them out as fast as possible. But for these little guys, this is actually an example of uh, invasive non-native that isn't impacting anything in a negative way. And they're just kind of passively in the systems. You can see them for one year, and then you don't see them again for five years. Trying to do research on this sort of thing is difficult because of that. I would love to have the chance to possibly take these and raise them in a tank at Manchester so that we can see what exactly they go through, how they live their lives, and hopefully translate that out back into the wild. Thankfully, these are nothing that you have to worry about. It's not like the ocean jellyfish that will give you a nice wall up if you get too close. Since they're so small, their stingers can't really penetrate human skin. Their main prey is zooplankton. I think being out here and doing these things is so much fun that I want to see the Environmental Studies program. Just having more of this stuff would be fantastic experience for the students we have right now and prospective students, so it's truly amazing. Thank you.